All right. What is up, guys? Brandon here from TechFlare, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up SSH through PuTTY on your Home Assistant with Raspberry Pi. So I know that sounds sounds like a mouthful, and it is, but it's pretty simple. So basically, if you have Home Assistant installed on your Raspberry Pi, you will be able to do this. So uh, if you don't know how to do how to install Home Assistant, I'm going to be making a tutorial on that on my next video. Uh, so definitely stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. So let me just get my recording software up and running so I can um, so I can record my stuff. Alright, so this is my Home Assistant dashboard. Um, so to find this, you're going to go to has.io and then you'll click, um, or actually you'll just go to has.io. So this is what you're going to see when you click has.io. Now, I've already installed the SSH server, um, so you're not going to have any installed add-ons. It's just going to say, go to the store to install add-ons. So, there's going to be a link down here that you can click if you want to, um, but I'll show you how to do that uh, right now. So, I'm going to uninstall my SSH server. So, let me uninstall that so I can reset it up. Alright, so now this is what you're going to see. So, head over to the add-on store by clicking this little bag. And then you'll see this, which is going to be a lot of stuff but you're going to scroll down until you see SSH server and it's going to say not installed so just click on it and then my computer is being really dumb so I have to like mess around with it to get it to click There we go. Okay, so you'll click SSH server. Uh, mine, it takes forever to click, but, you know. Uh, so, then you'll just see this. It'll say made available by repository core, visit website, and all you're going to need to do is click install. Now you're going to install it and wait for it to load. <sighs> Any day now. Karasi Road. Go. Oh no, darn it. Yes, free gift. Let's see what I get. <gasps> Ooh, turny. Ah, oh, duplicate, darn it. Oh well. Alright, so it looks like we have successfully installed OpenSSH. Uh, now, the next thing you're going to want to do is install putty onto your computer or whatever device you're using so just google putty and if it will load alright and then it should just be the first link www.putty.org and then you're going to click you can download putty here click here and finally click either 32-bit or 64-bit um, yeah so just I clicked 64-bit because that's the kind of computer I have and then just go through the installer it's super easy and you should be good to go um, now go back to your SSH server info and I'm going to toggle auto update just because I don't have any idea how to update OpenSSH and auto update is much easier than figuring it out so I have done that and then in options you can leave don't mess with the authorized keys thing just type in what password you want um, I'm just gonna do root because that's the username of the home assistant home assistant username is root so I'm just gonna make the password root because I don't know so anyway then you've got logs um, you should see a blank log just because this is from my from when I had it set up before I deleted it um, 
So yeah, then make sure you save your options. And also, let's see, leave your network the same, and then you can start to your server. And once that finishes, we can go ahead and open PuTTY. So just search it or open it. I don't know how you find it, but I just search for it. So type in PuTTY and open it up. So this is what you're going to see when you open up PuTTY for the first time. Um, your host name or IP address of the Pi is what you type in to go to the Pi's um, server page. So it's just going to be the same number in your URL. So I'm going to type that in. And then leave the port the same. I know that your port to get to the Pi's server is 8123, but you need to leave the port at 22 because that's what the um, that's what the host port is 22. So just leave that there. And then if you want to, you can save this by clicking save. Uh, but before you do that, you're gonna want to type in a name for it. So I'm just gonna call it hass.io2. Uh, and save it. And now it should appear in this box down here. And now if you want to open it quickly, you can just double click this. And this should pop up and it should give you a warning, potential security breach, blah, blah, blah. Just click yes. And then you're going to log in as root. And then if you did your password root, then you can type that in and click enter. Now when you type in your password, it's not going to show you typing anything because if someone's looking they can see your password so just know that you're typing in something even though it's not showing anything and that's how to set up putty with uh, Raspberry Pi and Home Assistant I hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out